Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice 8.52. Okay, um, been a few days, you know, since these last I posted one of these episodes. So, um, unless you're watching them later, um, binge watching them or something, um, it's been a few days. Just want to let everybody know, um, I've learned a little something here. Black Ice plus Germany equals lots of viewers, okay? That's very interesting to me. Um, I definitely knew that my previous two Black Ice um, Germany series, one was sort of a learning experience of really how to do this thing. Uh, I'm still learning. I know I'm not as good as a lot of the really great guys, but um, learning to do this all right. Uh, the second one was really, and I saw so the first one, I rushed a lot of things and second one, I really made it to where I talked about the history and I really sort of made it the work that I wanted it to be. So, and that got a lot of views and I very much thought, well, Hey, since I normally play, you know, obviously here, this isn't, this isn't historically how, um, Germany collapsed, but I play in a generally historically plausible manner, you know, meaning I'm not, um, playing as Britain and trying to conquer France or anything wacky like that. Players like to do that. That's fine. It's their game. It's just not the way I want to do it. So I'm not going to pick a small cut. Recently played with um, Black Ice for Hearts of Iron 4. Czechoslovakia, I didn't like start trying to invade Hungary or some other thing to grow power. I just played it within the historical parameters. So, um, which was a reasonably popular, but it was a short series. Um, so I've learned that, and so this last series that I've started, um, for Hearts of Iron 4 with the Black Ice, now that it's, you know, it's still talked about Alpha and they're still, you know, haven't even touched the, um, uh, combat doctrines or anything like that. I haven't modded that at all. It's still the, the standard ones. So obviously it's still going to grow and develop, um, but it's developed enough to make it worthy to play compared to the early days, which I looked at it and go, yeah, this is really cool, but it's just not good enough to play. Now it's, it is good enough to play. And it's getting a lot of views. So that, that informs me of something is Germany plus black ice equals lots of views for me, at least um, partially because it started out as a black ice modder modder so a lot of you knew me from there so that's how you found the channel okay um for this series still want to let you know i plan on fully defeating germany and um plan on fully liberating the philippines those are my current plans for this series um if numbers get high um well, i'd happily take down japan too um you know i don't know whether there's lots of troops in here or whether this is just a, a hollow shell and if we um with all their troops are sitting down here or sitting in china somewhere if we were to go in it might be an easy thing i don't know that's uh, just it and i don't know but if viewers stay high i would happily stay with it i'm even considering well i'm considering playing um Black Ice 8.6 point whatever it will be at some point um, with um, some of the other sub mods uh, units of the Third Reich and um, German graphical augmentation mod Revolver Helds and Alexis mods if you're still watching this series great um, because some of the stuff that I've quickly looked at looks really good and really fun now I can play it a lot even my sort of meticulous way, a lot faster and quicker than trying to play through um, um, as a video series. But I've thought about if it's that popular, if there's enough of you want to watch me play Germany again um, in Hearts of Iron 3, I would consider it, but it would need to be um, high viewership. And not just high viewership as in one of you comes in and clicks it five times, but actually watching it, because I do get the numbers, watching it all the way through. Let's go into Stuttgart. Um, watching it all the way through the episode. Lots of people doing that. And so um, that just because I want to play it. Um, don't know if I'm going to do 
quite honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do it as a series. Um, but I'm definitely making the the German Black Ice series for Hearts of Iron 4, and that's so far doing very good numbers. Okay, well, let's continue this. Okay, yep, knew that would happen once I started. So they're counterattacking. Their Japanese are attacking into Bangkok. And they're counterattacking my semi exhausted type in equipment division, but we'll see how that goes. And a bunch of Romanians are piling on uh, me here. Oh, sorry, Hungarians. Why did I say Romanians? I don't know. And I think we'll hold there. Oh, Manchukuo is attacking down here. And they're attacking over here. Okay. Where did we win? Okay, we take driving into Belgium. And it looks like we're going to retake our territory way back from the Partisans. Now, oh, and human wave tactics have advanced. Sort of hoping when they. Um, do um, work on the um, doctrines. They make them more like Hearts of Iron 3 style, and I'm pretty sure you can. Instead of just, oh, you get um, the new um, Assault Concentration, or Blitzkrieg Doctrine, or um, Spearhead, or Sherplunk, or whatever, um, you get it make it more of a gradual situation I don't know if you need it um, 1 through 12 levels for one of them um, I'm not against the idea of that by any means but I don't know if that's the best thing but I would like it at least like 1 through 4 so that because the idea I always envisioned that sure Guderian and a, and a few other officers came up with a lot of the, you know, the mass tank assaults, and they, even in the early days, knew that they were going to have air support and all of that. But it's not just however many guys in a think tank, if you will, coming up with the idea. It's getting it out to the, to the, because um, you need you need um, NCOs knowing how to knowing the basic concept of the doctrine, because they're you know driving tanks, commanding tanks, and you need you know lieutenants and captains and generals, and you need um, guys in the Air Force knowing how to operate with the, the mobile forces and all of that kind of thing. So it has to spread out, and then that's at a certain level. And then the other level is um, continued use of it, that you refine the doctrine, you improve it, you, you practice it. Part of it is just simply drill. You're drilling, you know, you, you've done it enough so you know how to do it better, but it's also... Um, just refining the doctrine a little more. Man, the Japanese are going on the offensive out here. Okay. Looks like we... Okay, good. We got and occupied this province before they took it. And we've won here. Okay, now where do we want to... Let's attack up into there. And... This is our... Anti-submarine patrol. And we won the battle of Ghent. Good. And we won there. Good. I sent in a bunch more reinforcements here. Let's find a... With your second army, good. I'm going to come in a little more locally. I want him to come over here. Let's 
and that there. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, good. So we're still technically defending. Here we go. Attack. Attack. Let's see if these guys can do any good. Maybe, because they're. You know, not put too much hope they may get exhausted a little quickly support the attack yeah it looks like we held they've driven off one of our Light colonial forces. These guys are holding out against they'll do okay. They're not even being attacked. These guys, okay. Mm, they'll probably be alright. I've sort of forgotten where in my okay these guys are still coming down here picking up a few more of these light uh, sky as well scaries as sky is the the weapon Well, they've also got a SS Schreer Panzer unit there that they're fighting. man. Okay, we're gonna stop that, Dave. Overall, okay, Lord Ha Ha Broadcast. Oh, um, William Joyce. Do they say who that is? That's William Joyce pictured there, Lord Ha Ha. Um, I think that's yeah. I uh, I'm suspicious of that photo. I don't know. I just. Um, the all black, that William Joyce in the, the lightning bolt thing, that's not William Joyce's symbol, so I don't think that's William Joyce pictured there. But that's who Lord Haha -Ha was, was William Joyce. Okay, Germany calling, Germany calling. You know that England is crying for a leader, and that leader has emerged, um, person of the greatest Englishman I've ever known, Sir William Oswald Mosley, which that, now that might, um, uh, Mosley had a mustache. We're sort of looking up at him. Don't know who that picture is. Could be Joyce, but it's in that sort of black turtleneck thing that the um, British Union of Fascist guys sort of wore and the lightning bolt symbol for the BFU. Mm, I don't know. Okay, um, when History of Europe comes to be written, I can assure you that this, that his name will not be second to either Mussolini or Hitler. In other news, Allied forces suffered crushing defeat in Rochamp. Did they really think they would win. Okay, well, this is interesting. Going on so late in the war, but okay. And then here we lost at Rochamp. So we got the William Joyce um, broadcast. How many hours? 20 hours. Well, let's... 
there. And we've taken out another port. Let's move to that port. Let's cross the river there. Well, sort of thought of using these guys. Let's stick them on these liners here. Let's send them up to here. I think. Yep, they're not escorted, but we do have. They're heading back. These guys are heading out to patrol this area, so hopefully that will keep. We got some transports here, but I don't know that they're going to affect my transports negatively. That is, um, so we can drive into Brussels. Going into Stuttgart. No, no, let's just have you support the attack. Because it looks like they're driving, falling back a little bit there. Okay, that's good. They're getting across the river. These guys are supplied now again. I shifted the supply sending to another location there. Let's go there to keep them going. Okay, they're done in, so let's move the, the border away a bit. Well, it looks like the Bulgarians may... ...push me back from there. Well, that's... well, there's a tank unit. Wish these guys are getting better shape. They're okay, but... How are these guys doing against? Hmm. Okay, there. Oh well, see they have now. I guess moved in. Oh, look at all those armor units. Even though they're not doing so well, so that's why we're doing so badly there. So let's stop the attack. We'll take a major defeat penalty. We don't really get that anyways. We'll find a local headquarters. Let's move north of the border. Help with the assault. Constantina. Now go up to there. Help with that. Mm, okay, that should be all right, hopefully. Now they've cut us off here. Well. One division down there. The rest up here. We are attacking across the water there, but just garrison units. Okay, add you to the attack. Good. That should do better. And good. Push it in on Croatia. 
Now we defend it there. Yes, okay, well that's good. Well, we're going to end the episode here. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. And of course, love to hear from you. Please post questions, comments, suggestions, ideas. See you next time for more Hearts of Iron.